kill the king. King Gilles of the Bretonian clan is the target. This is an RP event, the BRE clan versus a mix of public players and some other clan members who are also fighting against us. The objective is to kill the Valandian king. The Sturgeons have to try the hardest, any means necessary to kill the king. And once the he is killed, the Valandians must drop their weapons and submit to the executions of the Sturgeons. Let's begin. So we're jumping into a round here. I've blurred the scores. This is just a random round, but I'm already dead. I die very early in this round, but I like this round to begin with because I'm following the king. You see a good angle of him. And it's just absolutely tense. It's 14 versus 18. It could go either way. The King's got still got quite a lot of HP. His bodyguards are close. Arrows are flying through the air. There's a lot of horsemen still going. The theme of this is going to be arrows and horsemen, I think you'll see. And look how low his HP is. His HP is so low. And one of these calves are getting very, very close to killing our beloved King. We do not want him to die. And if you watch, a bowman from the bushes shoots him in the back. And the King is slain. Great round, great round. Let's move on to the next round. Here we are, making our way to the centre of the map. All of us surrounding the king. He's in that bunch of players there as arrows fly overhead and our crossbowmen are doing well to return fire. But we have to watch the enemy cavalry. There's so many of them just starting around and it only takes one cavalry and a nice hit to really kill him. So we're doing our hardest here. We've got spears out, ready. And here come the enemy Sturgeon infantry where the fighting really does get thickest. A lot harder to defend. Constantly see if you can see the king because he's wearing a crown and he does run around. He isn't just hiding behind a shield, although he will sometimes, but quite often he won't have a shield or he'll just have a turned weapon. Where is he here? He's down in the water. Can you see him with his bodyguards again? Two-handed weapon, just going for it. Absolutely making it hard for us because it could be easy. We could be cheesy. We could be very cheesy here and just hide in a, in a corner, but no, he wants us as clan members to sweat. He wants us to have a hard time. And look at him going for it. It's 14 versus 26. It's not looking good for us at the moment. The king is still going, although he is getting bashed about a bit by, by enemy cavalry. Got to watch out for this axe. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to fight off the infantry whilst keeping an eye on our beloved king. Where is he? I can't quite remember. He's got to be near. Oh, there he is. You see him? And he's down. Second to last man to die. That's what we want. We want the king to be the last man to die. All of us need to die for our king. And here we go again. Move to another round. Here he is on the front lines again with a two-handed weapon. An easy target for any bowman, any cavalryman, and infantryman for that. All you have to do is just get to him and stab him in the face. So here we are fighting away. There's a very fine line between fighting the enemy infantry and just generally killing them and actually defending the king. Um... It's a really interesting mode. I mean, it's just it's just us messing around with this RP event. But uh, it's certainly a lot of fun, and a lot of people had a lot of fun. Here's the king again with his bodyguards moving along quickly through the battlefield. It's looking pretty good for us at this point. But look at that. All those bodyguards. All those bodyguards. And it's just the flick of a sword. And it gets him, catches him under the eye. And we surrender. The king is dead. Moving on to another round. Here we are in the ramparts and we've got a bit of a spear formation going on here 34 versus 36 at this point the king is in our formation just there to our left can you see he's wearing the crown and we're defending them it's a bit harder for them doing this kind of formation and the king staying put but only the bravest can try Gilles Le Breton he's the leader of our clan and this nice formation is, is seeming pretty impregnable at the moment 23 versus 19 it's a lot harder for them just to get anywhere close. The cavalry is almost useless against that kind of formation. Obviously a spear formation. Here's the king though. He's charging out recklessly. And again, it's so easy to kill him. So easy to kill him. And he's just got on a horse, I believe. This guy comes here. And here he is on his horse again. And I killed a king's horse. Not good. Not good, but it happens. And here we are charging out. It's 15 versus 7. It's looking pretty good for us. They, they need a miracle if they want to get to him. But like I say, it just takes one cavalry man to come from behind. Stab him. I'm sure he's low HP. Here comes a man. Here's the last chance. But he goes down to the bodyguards. A round goes to us. I mean, we do have about seven or eight of these rounds in total, but I'm only showing a few. For example, this is the best round. My favourite round. And because, look at the scores now, it's 5-9. That's how many more they won. And the first four, which we actually win, is because there wasn't many. The other team hadn't arrived yet, so it was like really low numbers. Um... So, as you can imagine, we've been getting our ass kicked. Look at all those cavalrymen coming in. Each one wanting to be the one that kills the king. Looking 
to be the hero of the day. Here we go, we can't let them through, so we are making it a heavily defensive spear wall. Defensive position in our spawn, give us more time. The enemy infantry has got a long way to run if they want to make it to us. But like I say, it just takes one cavalry man. Oh, look at that nasty hit on the king, he's got to be over half HP, under half HP even. And their cavalry man are just picking off any player who's not in the defensive formation as we defend, we defend our hearts out in this awesome round. I'm not going to say he wins, but this is a, this is definitely the best round. And look at that, another cab breaks through. You can break through, you can break through. But you better make your attack count because you are going down. Good attempt by Kimmon. Got a nice formation and I think you can see the enemy infantry on their way. More cavalry are breaking through, we've got to really stop them. This is so hard, they got, they got those, those heavy cavalry, really hard to kill. Spears out, crossbows are getting ready. The enemy infantry has arrived in a shield wall formation and they are about to crash into us. It's 32 versus 42 players at this moment. We have got the disadvantage. But the one thing we do have an advantage of is we have the glory of the king to protect. As I see arrows flying overhead still, any one of them could catch him in the face. Catch me in the face. Here we are, the guys with the 200 weapons. They are part of Order of the Lake. Pilgrims. Mighty warriors to defend our king, and here come the enemy infantry. They're breaking in on the right hand side. It's getting into, turning into a dire fight. I love this fight. It was such good fun. This fight was just a real, real even. It felt anyway, as we're slowly being whittled away. And there's the king, going out to fight with his men. Not scared of the enemy. That's the best way to be. The most fun way to be. The Vlandians slowly getting picked off, but it is 15 versus 17 now. 14, 12 versus 17. The numbers are changing rapidly. We need to fight and not let anyone by. We must fight our best. I'll go for this guy and I miss. I hit his shield. I should have hit his horse. Because KOH Titan finishes off the king. And with that, the enemy win another round. They absolutely batter us. I'm not going to lie. I mean, don't get me wrong. The king could have been a bit more cheesy and hid behind us in a more defensive position. But it's not about that. It's about having a lot of fun with anyone who loves this game. And here we are at the king's body as the game ends thanks for watching guys i really appreciate that if you want to join us the bre clan we take english and french speaking people all skill levels from i mean there's some people who've never even played multiplayer and have joined us and that they play with us regularly now it's just so much more fun to play like this with a clan um so if you're interested details are in the description i hope you enjoyed this game it's just a fun little rp event we had i'm sure there'll be others in the future we do all sorts of large clan battles we do them like twice a week um, and then we have a training session once a week, which is again, it's just it's like 40, 50 clan members just messing about and having a few group fights. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, please, please check it out. Um, it's just the best way to play the game, in my opinion, um, if you're into multiplayer. And a rogue arrow hits him, and he goes down in this round. Thanks for watching, guys. Glory to the Empire.